you know, the obvious answer is, is politics is, is preventing some of this from happening. I mean, we have a lot of folks that are um, they're worried about a tax increase. We have some individuals that take these anti-tax pledges that they don't want to see a tax increase happen. Um, you know, and, and it's disappointing because really when it comes down to it, I mean, that, that, that infrastructure piece is an essential function of government. And, um, you know, it, it gets frustrating to have those barriers when you know what needs to be done. I'm a legislator that has, uh, you know, I've got I-35, I've got Highway 218, I've got Highway 9, Highway 52, Highway 63. I'm in this type of a district where we need to have that proper funding for our infrastructure, and, and it's an important economic development tool. But what's going to happen in an election year at the State House? Are you going to find one legislator that's going to want to vote to raise taxes or fees? I am glad you brought that up. Um, <laughs> do you know that uh, in the 1990 governor election, Governor Branstad won 60 percent, I believe, to 40 percent. It was the largest margin of victory that he's ever had as a governor. And that came after he raised the fuel tax in 1989. So his largest margin of victory came after he raised a fuel tax. You look at President uh, Reagan and what President Reagan did on the federal level. I mean, he raised our federal <coughs> fuel tax. He went on to win again. He, he uh, you know, legendary-wise, he's, he's been known as one of the best presidents we've ever had. So, I mean, I think some of these people need to, to, to quit worrying about, you know, what organization or, or which group are they being obligated to and, you know, whether it's the Tea Party or the, you know, Americans for Prosperity or the Iowans for Tax Relief, they got to think about their constituents. They got to think about, you know, the, 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 the people back home and the roads that they're using. Um, if you look at this whole package, um, actually, if you're, if you're fiscally conservative, the fuel tax is probably one of the best things that we have. It's a user fee. You're getting money from out-of-state drivers. Uh, right now we have 25 counties in the state of Iowa that are bonding for roads at $163 million. I mean, that's, you're paying twice as much per mile as what you should be, and by the time you pay off that bond, you're going to have to replace your road again. So, I mean, if you really want to be conservative and, and think about how we're using a taxpayer dollar, uh, the fuel tax just really seems to be the best method.